Well, Utopia of the Seas is now in its home port of Port Canaveral. Here she is arriving into Port Canaveral, and it is the sixth addition to Royal Caribbean's award-winning Oasis-class fleet. The world's largest ship with the world's best features just got even better. This is the world's biggest weekend. And guest capacity of this behemoth is 5,668 guests at double occupancy. It can actually hold more, but that's 100% occupancy can go up to 110% occupancy. Gross registered tons, which is the square feet of inside the ship where you can inhabit, 236,860 gross registered tons. There's 2,834 staterooms. Wow, 18 decks. Length is 362 meters. And the beam, which is the width at the maximum, 213 feet. The draft is 30 feet, it means it needs at least 30 feet of water to get through. Cruising speed is 22.6 knots. And the ship's going to be doing three and four night sailings to the Bahamas out of Port Canaveral. Here is the crew enjoying the ship after it's been completed on its voyage into Port Canaveral for the first time. And the world's biggest weekend, what happens here is too big to stay here, introducing the utopia of the seas totally transforming weekends for good and we're talking bigger flavors bolder play and look at this beautiful ship wow better chill days than you ever imagined no craving goes unsatisfied with over 40 ways to dine and drink that includes the venues at coco k which will be there every single cruise there will be new chart-topping showstoppers that will blow your mind on stage. Ice, water, and air. You'll earn bragging rights daily with 17 adrenaline-pumping slides, including the ones at Coco K. And pool hop till you drop with lots of ways to make a splash on board and at Coco K. And of course, Coco K, the award-winning private island, perfect day. It's always a perfect day at Coco K, and this is not a routine recharge. It's the world's biggest weekend. So keep in mind that uh, select days when the weather's not very good, you may not be able to dock at Coco K, but most of the time, 99% of the time, you will be there. And the ship may permit the solarium pool to be used by persons under 16 if the weather is really bad. So there is one little exception to the adult pool. But look at the weekend, the weekend's splashiest bash. You'll never have to choose between pool day and beach day again with the new Utopia of the Seas sailing to our award-winning Coco K. Lots of pools, six different beaches on Coco K. And some of the onboard entertainment, we have, of course, the Aqua Theater and Olympic high divers leap into the air, 30-foot diving platforms. Wow, it's just amazing. 137,000 gallons of water. Look at all these pools. There's hot tubs. This ship, by the way, is almost identical to Wonder of the Seas. So if you've been on the Wonder of the Seas, you're going to be familiar with the layout. And one of the big shows on the Aqua Theater is an intense one. And of course, the ice skating shows are going to have the ice spectacular and the zip line, flow rider, and all the other things that are going on here. And also, they have the casitas, of course, the typical amplification of the pool deck. You have your slides, your perfect storm water slides, you have your lime and the coconut. And look at the vibrant colors, and weekends will never be the same with Utopia of the Seas. Of course, here is your signature bar on all amplified ships. It began on the Freedom of the Seas. Here is the lime and the coconut, and it features an array of frozen cocktails. Think Fat Tuesdays, but we don't want to say that, but I just did. Lots of juices, lots of drinks. The famous signature drink is the lime and the coconut. It's very good, but they have a whole array of frozen drinks. You can get your frozen daiquiris on multiple flavors and it is a two-story venue so it's on deck 15 and deck 16 so there is the lime and the coconut 
definitely the best bar on the pool deck in my opinion you gotta go there and get yourself a lime and a coconut lots of vibes you can check out the sunset there you've got special signature drinks i also recommend the dark and stormy so there's some amazing drinks there and the pool transforms itself at night to nighttime vibes and the lime and the coconut is still open at night but the way the pools are lit up and the, and the ship is lit up at night is just unbelievable. So make sure you get out to the pool deck on Utopia.